Hey everybody, my name is Spamos. Welcome back to Court of the Sea. Last episode, we got to the top of the mountain. We got into the temple. We saw where Harry, our beloved husband, kind of came as far as he could go. He didn't have the special webbed hands like we do. We put our hand on a thing and went down a big toilet bowl of the gods. Cut to black. Wake up. We're a mermaid person. What's going to happen now? Haven't a clue. How is the story going to end? Haven't a clue. What's coming up? Don't know. Let's find out together without any more stalling. Let's begin! Here we go. So welcome back. I'm a mermaid. Whoa, look at my hands! Oh, so glowy. So very glowy. And they seem to change color. All this coral down here. Beautiful stuff! So, I guess we are like inside the mountain. I should be scared, but it's hard to explain what I feel, but it isn't fear. Not a bit. Probably because this is really awesome. If you have you ever swam with like um fins before, you go so fast, it's crazy awesome. So having that as a body appendage, much awesome, very well, very yes. There's a stargate thing Nothing up here. These gates, like the one I saw in the temple. Touch it. Bonk. I've, I've. I'm back to being me. I know what's going on here. I'm basically a transformer. I think my body can just kind of swap out between being human and being mermaids. Hard for me to understand how these gates work. What happens every time I cross one of them? Your body adapts and changes because of the old black ooze inside of you. I don't understand how we, we have got this power though. We mentioned how it was after our mother passed away that the spots first appeared on my arms. But... I don't understand how we came in contact with the Black Ooze. Blah, blah, whomp. So I'm really curious how the story is going to end up now. Oh, there's a puzzle thing down here. Nora, make a note. Another panel of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? I don't know. Let's leave that alone. It's a silly thing for silly people. What's up here? I can't go in. Oh, the current is in the way. Okay, we've got to work out this current business. Oh, I can move. Do I want to move? I don't know what this does for me, but let's have a go. I think I need them to meet in the middle at the same time. Because this one takes way longer to get there than this one does. It worked! And the arrow is the flow of the current. So actually... <laughs> I've made the current continue go the way it's supposed to go. Fantastic. Good job, me. At one job, literally messed it up. Punk! And with that, ooh, flappy, flappy, the flaps of change have shown their ways. Wow. It's like being at Disneyland if Disneyland was underwater. Okay, well, we have arrived. Pierced by underground currents. Marvelous, but what does it mean, Nora? Punk! Look, I'm alive. Wait until my husband discovers my new secret ability. Yes. Architecture again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? Look at that. This is some Tomb Raider type stuff right here. Down here. So remember, we brought with us our musical box from the family heirlooms and a big old blade. Hey, there's some buildings. Wow. Set the shores of gold. Bloody awesome. Oh, talk about sun. What a quiet and peculiar place. Camperance. Some sort of handmade tribal painting. Looks really primitive. Touch the button. I can't touch that anymore. Fantastic. So I guess do I count the handprints? That might be a thing to do for later. I wonder who used to live here. We father. We mother. It's a bit direct, isn't it? I understood that. We father, we mother. I am the daughter of the frog people. It's a lovely place to live, although food seems difficult to come by. Who made these marks? They look quite old. Push this thing down. I shouldn't be touching those, really. I've made mistakes. We slaves, masters, Heaven, slaves and masters and... Nicole. Wasn't Nicole in the notes? A cow? Wasn't that another word for Nora? Although they okay. are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Wow, coming in with that mad sass. Hi, 
ancient civilization pre-Polynesian. This house is not up to code. It's a horrible looking house. You can live here. Disgusting. This war mural, lovely. Red paint. You got red on you. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Lady, there was an uprising. And they broke free of their shackles and bounds. And they took back what was theirs. So we're coming down to water level. Hand signals. Signals? I'm getting tired, everyone. Hand signals. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I better draw them just in case. It means go for a swim. Look at this. Oh. Oh. So they go down to that. To that. To boobs. Well, without one of my fishy teleporters, I can't enter the water. Apparently, human Nora doesn't like getting wet. So, I have to wait until later, I suppose. Okay, building with the red handprints. And another touchy-touchy thing. I keep touching them. I assume that's fine. It's either that or they're gonna reset. Ah! Fire falls from the sky. Awakens God. Black blood. Is that black blood the same thing as the black ooze? I mean, it is in our blood, the one doctor found out. It's quite disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago. I feel connected to them somehow. What, and that disturbs you? I think that's kind of awesome. How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. I think you're losing your marbles a little bit. Final one, maybe? Pong? There's been those slits on the sides. Another pool of memories! Black blood in eyes, like in the well. Just interrupt them, Nora, why don't you? This reminds me of some prehistoric cave paintings. Like in the Cueva de las Manos in South America. Black blood in eyes, black blood in body. So we saw with the expedition, a couple of their members was touched by the black ooze and it sent them crazy. Maybe the power that the ooze gives us is only for people who have the power to control it. And those who can't, they just lose their mind, you know? It's like um, Thanos. Basically, it's the Avengers. Okay, well, I can't go any higher. I've pushed all of these things. They were loving it. Perhaps now that I've touched all of those things, something may have changed down at water level. Let's head down there and see if we can see anything. Or, I didn't go over there yet, did I? Mystical buildings, tell me your secrets. And have you seen my husband? He's a very naughty boy. Hmm. I love what you've been eating. Okay, I liked the water effect earlier, but that building is just weird. And in here. Oh. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. Ah! Each house had two people inside of it, and they all had a push button, and they played with the water levels. Oh. The inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes. Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. Okay, is that why they were trapped? Touch the, the stuff in the middle. Right. So the water animal. Is that what I am now? I don't know. Well, let's press the button. Park. And down they go. And up they go again. Fantastic. It's a puzzle, everybody. Would you expect any less out of this game at this point? Ah, it's reset all of these obelisk things. Oh, great. Oh, jeez. Okay, so in our journal, we have this thing here called symbol order. White, yellow, red, stripes. White hands. Clearly, that's that. So slap that bad boy in. Slap. And that does that. So let's go find the yellow house. Womp, 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 womp. You know what? It's yellow. 
I'll take it. <laughs> it's close enough. Punk. All of this technology. Could they not have just made a ladder? All right, can we regulate the height of the water so that everyone can live? Well, you could. Or we can make a ladder. What's a ladder do? It enables you to, to travel the levels up and down whenever you want to. Ah, mate, can we get some pump system? We get some black ooze uh, and some uh, timers, push buttons, and of course uh, an ecosystem community where everyone works together to make sure that this continues to function. Sure, let's do that. Blah. Right. So, that sequence is correct. Should be in the money. Here we go. Hadouken! It's off. Off, 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 off! It's working! But what does it do? See the buttons on there? Punk! Let's get down there. Here we go. Right. Push that button. Don't do it. Do it! This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. It's impressive. But is it really impressive? Well, we've got access now to this stargate over there. So let's give that an old push. Let's see what happens. Hop up. Womp. Swim mode activated. Oh. Hang on. Before we start exploring mysterious tunnels and the likes of that. That's a... Uh, oh, what's this? I don't know what that did. Oh, the doohickey's falling down. The panel is broken. I'll have to find another way to go through. Not a problem, I'll work on it. Oh, I can change the currents on these. I think I'm gonna have to like pod race my way down, 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 and slam into something. You're colorful. I like you. They rebelled against their masters. The slaves seem to worship two gods. How did that work out for them? Look at these. <sighs> This looks like an altar dedicated to two figures. I can hear them talking to me. Two gods, two figures. Or oh, mother, father. Hmm. Am I the chosen one returning home after going to college? Oh, there's some houses down here. That's right. Let's have a look inside these. Maybe some more backstory. Touch it! We The sunken continent. Was that their punishment? So now we're bringing Atlantis into this, are we? We We live forever. So these creatures are immortal? So the Nakao, they're no more. They all became water animals and now live forever. Okay, so it's kind of like a species went extinct, but it didn't. It just kind of became something else. Okay, so what was up here? Big mysterious pipe with some glowy glowy inside of it. And I can't leave the water. What does this thing do? Oh, I know what it's doing. It's on a timer. So I've got to use these to get down there super fast. Now we know what's going on. Spin it! Bonk. It's real simple. As soon as the goop gets to the gold bit, bonk, you do that bit. And it should meet in the middle. Perfect style. Of course it bleeding does. Of course it bleeding does. Right. Womp. 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 Number two, electric boogaloo. Spin it! Womp, womp. Oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? It bloody made it! Womp. And splats. Right, let's do this. So I feel like the game, toward the start of it, had lots of story, lots of good drive, and like a couple of puzzles scattered around it. And I feel like at this point, the puzzles are overwhelming the story progression. Meh, let's see what happens. Here we go! Punk! Door opens up on Mystical Timer. And whomp! One down! Two down! Taking the turn! Three down! Four down! And we're in! Oh, I made it. Indiana Jones will be proud. But what was it for? There goes that. Pog! And this is how we die. My illness has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the 
complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy. Even better than before my illness. You've evolved! You've become something far superior. Ooh. Okay, we can get out here. Here we go. Plonk! So now we hopefully have access to a brand new area. Yeah, so we started over there. We went into the water via there. And now here we are over here. We've got a right. And now we can raise and lower the water. So that's going to give that tunnel we went in, that went nowhere, something to do. No, it just lowered it even more. Ah, oh, but now we have access to that speedy tunnel that we couldn't otherwise the use. The water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. But, oh, and I'm going to get there via this tunnel, I think. We're getting there, fam. We've been big brain. All their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner? That's great and all. I don't want to be rude, but I don't care. I was here to find my husband. What happened to him? Right, exploring. Now I can enter this tunnel. Yay! <laughs> and with the power of tunnel, we gain access to another Stargate. And with that, well, who knows what's going to take us? It's not me. Poke it! Right. Right. Oh, big and deep. Let's do this. We were here to find a cure for me. At this point, I doubt a cure is what we really care about in life. So clearly, we're now just trying to find husbands. And they're off! The race to the middle has begun. They both arrive at the same time, and it is now unlocked. Fwappy, fwappy. And we're in. This current is quite strong. I wonder where it will take me. On a magical adventure. Look at all the pretty colors. So yes, I will admit, like the novelty is wearing off on me. On the whole, I'm a, a mermaid. I kind of want to get back to mission. I really enjoyed the 1930s Indiana Jones mystery kind of aspect of this. It's turned full fantasy at this point. That's not a terrible thing. But can we finish one story? Hi. <gasps> it's a ginormous squid. Goodbye, squid man. Am I in trouble? I feel like that thing's going to try and eat me. I don't know what else to say at this point. We're just kind of riding this out together, everybody. Plomp. That was quite a ride, but it's over now. It's over now. I've never been here before, but I know that it's over. That water above us is mighty blue. Let's get out of here. Are all good? Womp. Wow. It is time for some temple ex exploration, I think. More effigy things. That ladder. Someone set up camp in here. My husband! Look, if there's a ladder in here, it can only mean my husband. Or that weird reporter lady. Now, there was an organization that we refused to take money from. It seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means death. Death or rebirth? Yeah, there was an organization. Uh, although, if they were going to go down that rabbit hole, I think we would have seen more from them by now. Ooh. These colors are fantastic. That's a hard mode puzzle. Let's go check the ladder out. Yes, Nora. Ladders. Remember them. You're not a mermaid anymore. This is, a, this is like some Firewatch level stuff right here. What is this? This, this... Oh my god. Did I almost forget about Harry? How could you? I've been moaning about it for a hot minute now. What's happening here? There's a letter for us. Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. But what do they mean? Quark? You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. 
You're a clever sausage, you are. Where is the sanctuary? You followed the river from the temple summit. And it the ruins, useless. The white sand beach. Building raft. <gasps> Building a raft. Ooh, there's things everywhere. A sanctuary. Harry, was that where you went? The masters brought their slaves to a sanctuary by boat in order to perform the final stage of the ritual. If they have boats, we could borrow them. It seems that the sanctuary was where the final stage of the ritual took place. That looks like the doorway up above on top of the whole thingity thing. And paperwork. So the guide left the expedition. That would explain the workshop on the White Sand Beach, where I arrived. So that first beach we initially landed on, where there was signs of a boat having been built, that's where the guides left this island. Monsieur Everhart and Madame Ward, we had plenty of death on this island. I helped you as long as I could, but I won't be an accomplice to this ritual madness. I'm returning to the White Sand Beach to build a raft and leave this modular idol. I'll be there if you change your minds, but I won't wait too long. Marua, Rua, and au revoir. Tia Hora. He's a good fellow. He made the right choice. But did he survive? Okay, I think it's time. Oh, I don't want to go too far forwards. There's another ladder. Okay, let's do this envelope. That's not the envelope. Boat? A boat? Mate, is that a boat? Good for you. I thought that was an envelope. Oh, no, here it is. I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry. Husbands! My dear old pal. It's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And that's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary, and there they performed a ritual. Teaharoa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued, violently. When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever. Harry. Harry? Wh what ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become like me? Please don't be a fool. You don't even know if that ritual of yours is going to work. Also, does that mean that the reporter lady is going to be sacrificed for him to fully ascend and complete the ritual? Ooh, and does she realize that that's happening? She doesn't seem to care much about Harry. And she doesn't seem to be thinking straight either. Harry's mental decline is more evident each day, but today he said he found out some place to carry out some ritual. I have to get to the bottom of this. I have to keep going. I have to keep doing what I've been doing up until now. Listen to what he says and go along with him. Can't stand him, but I have to tread lightly because it's only him and me now and the Black Icker. Harry, that look on your face. You look deranged. The Marbins! Seem to loathe each other. I can't stand your lunatic face. I can't stand the noise you make when you eat. I can't stand you. <laughs> so the lady is totally using him for the story, but also potentially like they've come so far that she feels only he can kind of get her out at this point. I don't know. Have to wait and see. Hello, outside world! The sun is setting. It is so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. This game. I really like it. I'm really happy. I feel really nice being outside again. Uh, do we have to try and climb up this or is this a no-go? That's a no-go. Oh, is this just a momentary... Nice little... Someone took the time to make that little stool. So this is just a momentary breath of fresh air before we, re before we go deeper into the caves again. Oh, okay, back inside it is. So I guess Harry came via the exterior and entered this place, coming down this ladder and so on. 
So once again, we're back on the same track. Although he thinks he's going to become a merfolk person. Well, I got another thing in store for him. He's not allowed. All right, let's try this out. Bring it in. Yes. Human transportation to the sanctuary. Spooky raft with a retractable door. All hands inside at all times on spooky raft. Oh, and crazy face. It's a romantic boat ride on spooky boat down crazy face. Whatever will be next. Oh, wow. Chapter six. What? It all makes sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here. As menacing as this place might look. The islands, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves. Like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's how they perceived the expedition. Like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Hello, friends! They seem to recognize me. As if I was one of their own. So I guess Harry came on a big boat, I came on a small boat. So distant now. As if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. They used a hundred tons of explosives. It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time or... Maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. It's like the Sea of Thieves! It's hard to believe everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Inglewood and... Everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. The feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood or Boston or Newburyport. I mean... <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? Because for the first time, your life has meaning. Stars are really shifting, though. <laughs> well, we are arriving. Look at this place. Looks very important. There it is. The sanctuary. We are here. A sanctuary before us. So... I was trying to speak, but she was very adamant on talking as well. So when Harry first arrived with his big old boat, you know, big boat, a bit scary, with a whaling harpoon as well, not to mention, could have been a threat. And then also, Harry, a uh, hundred pounds of explosives were used to blow open that well. It's scary. A contrast, little old me here, kind of scoot on in on a small little boat. I've done nothing but just solve the actual puzzles, like as they present themselves to us. No explosives necessary. Although I did use some of the technology that Henry, Harry had set up. Anyway, inside there, it's going to be all the answers to all of our questions. This game has six chapters. This is the final chapter. So next episode, we're going to jump on in for one final time and see what this is all about. Will I be able to stop my husband from sacrificing himself or the reporter before it's too late? Maybe there is a cure for me. Although by the tone of it, I feel like we're coming to terms of who we truly are on the inside and we're being okay with that. <laughs> anyway, thoughts and opinions down below. I want to hear them. Follow on the Twitter. Never miss live blah, 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 blah. Never miss live stream video notification things. I'm tired. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.